Hi everyone. So in the previous video, we have created several resources for our IT building construction project. As you can see, we have created the plant and machinery, which consists of dumper, concrete pump, excavator. Similarly, we have created some materials like sanitary fixtures, paint and all. And we have created manpower resources also, which includes the labor part as well as our staff, which includes construction managers, planning manager, as well as some engineers. You can see that they have some units of measurement, like for material, we have lump sum, square meter and all. They have their prices per unit. Like for example, how much is the dumper maybe on rent or maybe our internal hire charges, it will take $200 per hour or something like that. Then you can change the currencies also. Then for pump, it is like $1,000 per hour. Similarly for material, the cost is, let's say for paint, it is $200 per square meter. Then for rebar, it is $60,000 per metric ton and so on. Similarly, for manpower, we have their charges per hour, like one block work mason will charge $200 per hour. Maybe one engineer will charge $300 per hour. And they have their default units per time, that how much units or how much hours they will be working per day. For example, all the machinery and plant will be working only 10 hours per day, as you can see. Then for uh, materials, we have certain units like paint will be required 40 square meter per day default. Maximum can be some more also. Then for rebar, 50 metric ton is required per day. Similarly, these helpers and laborers and all, they have their time, fixed time, 10 hours per day. This might be different because we have a separate calendar for the plastering crew. So this is how we have added the resources. So now we will be assigning these particular resources to our activities as per the presentation. So you can see the presentation. So we have separate resources. We'll be taking maybe two examples, activity number three, or maybe we will take uh, activity number 10. So first of all, let us assign the resources of activity number three, which is uh, one planning manager, one construction manager, engineer number one, two machines, one helper and PCC material will be assigned to foundations, including plinth beam. So we will go to the activities tab here and we'll go to activity number three. Now we will click on the resources uh, tab here. See, one more thing is you should add budgeted total cost column in your uh, window in your main tab of activity so that you can see that what is the total cost because of the resources. When you will add the resources, these resources will contribute to the budgeted total cost. Suppose you are adding one mason, he's working for three days and based on his charges per hour, the total cost will change. So how to add this? I have already told you, you can go to columns. You can find this particular column from the find option, budget to total cost. And you can simply slide that column in the selected options here. And you will see this column coming over here. So first of all, we will, uh, so now in the activities tab, you need to add your resources column here. Again, this you can also do using the customized activity details. You need to find the resources column here. Like it is already here. So suppose if I move it here and so you can click it and you can move it here. You can make it over and above by using this arrow and you can click on okay. So we have our resources column now. So what you can do is you can click on this add resource to any, to add any kind of resource for that particular activity. So first of all, we will add one planning manager, one construction manager, as well as engineer number one. So he's the construction manager. You can click on control key in the keyboard and you can select multiple options. So this is how we can assign these three resources. So now you can see just by adding these three people, the total budgeted cost has been in increased to $1,80,000. Okay. So how it is calculating this particular cost is, see, for this particular person, Ashish Pandey, he's uh, taking 10 hours per day and his total charges are 300 per hours. And he's... Oh, his budgeted units are 200. Why it is 200? Because he's working for two days. See, original duration is, what is the original duration? Let us just check it. So the original duration is 10 days. So I think it got changed somehow. So we will make it as 10. So now you can see, let us check that all the original durations should be correct. 2, 6, 10, 10, 21. 
So this particular person is working 10 hours per day. This is his default units per time. And this is also his budgeted units per time. So this 10 multiplied by duration will give you the budgeted units and actual units is zero because we have yet not marked the progress of this activity and remaining units is again hundred. Okay. So this is how this cost is coming. Now you will multiply simply this 300 with this 100. So it will come to 30,000. Similarly for Ram Chaudhary and similarly for Sham Madhavan, these things are coming. Okay. Next, we need to add two machines and one helper. So how to add two machines? So we will first add one mason and one helper. So we will assign this. Now you see one helper, since one helper is only required. So budgeted units are 100 because 10 per day and multiplied by 10, it is coming 100. But missions, it is 10 per day, but we need two missions. So instead of 100 budgeted units, we will make it as 200. And you see the effect in budgeted cost after I make it 200. It will double. So it will go to 40,000. So instead of 20,000, it is 40,000 because we have included two missions. Okay. So this is how we add the resources. But one more resource is required, which is your uh, I think some material is required, which is your PCC. Yes, you can see from the presentation. PCC is also required for this. So we will add this material also. So we will go to add resource and we will go to PCC. So this is the PCC and we will add this. So again, it is calculating the budgeted cost based on the material price. We have fixed the price as $4,000 per meter cube. And it is multiplying this particular price with the remaining units or the budgeted units. Sorry, not the remaining units, budgeted units. So this is how we have assigned all the resources for our activity. And you can see based by adding all these budgeted costs, it is giving us the total budgeted cost for this particular activity, which is I think somewhere uh, 41 lakh and $45,000. So this is the total budgeted cost for this particular activity. Also, one more interesting thing is, see, you have only added the labor, staff, material and equipment, but certain activities, they have some associated indirect cost also, or maybe some other cost also, like water and power is being consumed, or maybe some miscellaneous labor is required or something else is required, then how to capture those expenses. See, in the expenses column, you can add some expenses, like we can go to add and you can uh, mention any other expense, like suppose water and power is being consumed in this certain activity from some vendor it is coming. You can choose the expense category like maybe facilities if some expense category is not available then what you can do is you can go to uh, admin and you can go to admin categories and you can change these categories also you can include your own category as per your own choice so budgeted cost suppose let's say uh, let us cap make it as 100 so after adding this 100 you just notice the change that will come here so we'll click on enter so as i entered this 100 expense so it got converted into 41 lakh 45 thousand and 100 dollars so this is how you can add any other expense if you want to add any other expense you can add it and it will get reflected in the budgeted total cost here also so this is how we add the resources if you want we can do it for one more activity for painting so let us see what all resources are required for painting so two painting machines are required one pm one cm engineer core and paint so we will first add PM, CM and engineer four. We will go to resources, add resource. So PM, CM and engineer number four. So let us assign this. So again, see uh, one day it will be 10 hours per day and 300 is per hour and multiplied by the budgeted unit is $21,000. Why it is 70 budgeted unit because seven days and one day is 10 hours per day. So 7 multiplied by 10 is 70 and 70 multiplied by 300 is 21,000. So the other resources also we can add. So for painting, we have two painting machines. So this is the painting machine we'll add. So this is one painting machine which is charging uh, a total is coming 14,000 based on this 200 multiplied by 70. But since we have two painting machines, so it will be 
140 instead of 70 and you see that this particular cost will get doubled which will be 28000 after i make it to 140 so it is now becoming 28000 one more resource is required which is nothing but your material so let us see what is the material it is paint so this paint we can add and there will be no discrepancy here also so this budgeted units is 280 and this is multiplying by 200 per square meter which is the price that we decided for paint and this is the budgeted units which is your default unit nothing if you go to resources and see paints so paint is 40 per day that means 40 square meter per day which it is taking as the budgeted units so this is the concept of assigning the resources to activities again if you want to add some other expense here you can add it and this will get reflected here and after you add all the resources for all the activities and this particular cell will give you the total budgeted cost for your project so this is how you get the total budgeted cost in the further videos we'll be talking more about the cost parameters in detail so that's all for this particular video stay tuned for more videos